Travelers, we have resort news, resort news, resort news. More after hours party tickets go available and more dates for the Mickey's not so scary Halloween party have sold out. So come along, it's news from the queues. So let's jump into it. Well, hello travelers. Hope everybody is having a fantastic week. This is news from the queues. We have a lot to talk about and it's about resorts, 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 after hour parties, and more other parties selling out for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So we will get all into that. But first, we're going to talk about the Chick-fil-A banana milkshake. Michelle got one today. They just started Monday. 13 years. Apparently, these have been gone for 13 years. I have never, ever tried a banana milkshake. The peach banana, the peach milkshakes are fantastic. But I have never tried their banana milkshake. But apparently, they had them 13 years ago. So, um, I've already tried this one. Michelle saved me half of hers. And it is fantastic. If you haven't had it, not sponsored, not hosted. not You know us. We're not sponsored or hosted anytime. But... This is a pretty good milkshake, so if you want to give it a try, head on over to Chick-fil-A. Banana milkshake. It's fantastic. So let's get into all the news about our resorts. It seemed to be a battle this week of who is going to announce resorts, Universal Orlando or Disney. Universal Orlando or Disney. So I don't know who was first, so we're going to go with Universal's um, news first. They have announced that they will be adding three more resorts, which everybody already knew this, but this will take them to 11 resorts for the university, uh, universal, university, universal properties over there. They will have 11 and their big one, Helios Grand, which will be at Epic Universal, will also be two other resorts there at the front of Epic Universe. But Helios will be more towards the back of the re, um park because it will actually be part of the park and have park entry from what we're hearing so that is the Helios Grand opening kind of sounds like Disney sometimes in 2025 we're not really sure but I'm sure it'll be early or summer of 2025 along with the other two hotels so we're pretty excited about that can't wait to go see one of those to see them all three of them actually maybe even stay in one who knows we cannot wait to start getting over to Universal more and seeing the new properties in Epic Universe. We really can't, Michelle is cannot wait for Donkey Kong to open that whole Nintendo World area. I'm more of the Monsters fan. I can't wait to the Monsters. Um, they open up over there. She's gonna be at um, Nintendo World. I'll be in Monsters and they're actually side by side. So that's pretty neat. So that is all the resort news that we have for Universal properties. Now let's talk about Disney's resort news. But before we talk about Disney's resort news, if I could get you to hit that subscribe and like button, big thumbs up. Um, we're trying to hit a goal by my birthday, November 28th, to see how close we can get to the goal. You guys just keep sharing us with your friends and families, sharing us out there on your social medias. We'll get as many travelers as we can on our channel, but we do have a goal. So let's just keep going and I'll let you know the goal the closer we get to my birthday. So. You guys are doing great. And by the way, it was nice meeting you. A lot of travelers this week. I have met a lot of travelers this week. It has been a great week to meet travelers. And hopefully, as you're watching this on Wednesday, tomorrow is the opening of the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot, the 29th. So we will be, I will be there opening day. We're going to um, walk around, just kind of take in Epcot, take in the festival, see what's new, see what's exciting. Maybe talk about it on um, festivals of past. So um, we really do appreciate all you guys for traveling along, following along, and being part of our traveling family. So thank you so very much. Disney's resort news actually has to do more with a DVC property than with a normal resort. But remember, um, the Polynesian Tower, uh, the Island Tower at the Polynesian Resort and Village, as they call it, um, is a DVC property. But it is also able, to, you can also rent it or you know um reserve it oh yeah reservations yeah you can make reservations also on the website that resort opens december 17th so we're excited about that can't wait to go see it i'm sure the dvc members have already booked it up for the first couple weeks months half a year who knows um but that will be opening up 
one of the very first exclusive areas that we're going to talk about is the gardens. The gardens are exclusive to the um, Island Tower. I can never remember that name. You'd think I could remember that Island Tower, but the garden uh, is exclusive to the Island Tower guest only. Not all Polynesian guests, from what we're hearing, it's the tower guest only. And I think it's going to be a spot along Seven Seas Lagoon. This is just my hunch, my guess. Um, that will be between the pool and the resort. And there's a little um, where the beach used to be right there. I think they're going to bring that back. And that garden area um, from the concept art. Looks like there's going to be maybe some hammocks, relaxation areas and stuff like that. But that will be for um, the tower guests only. So from the concept art, it looks absolutely wonderful. Next thing we are going to talk about at this Polynesian Tower, and if anybody has had a chance to see concept art of the Polynesian Tower, um, or even pass by on the monorail as it's being built, road past it on a boat, um, you know that there are some big holes in the site. Big holes in this tower. Well, uh, big holes. Those are the tower gardens. That will also be for tower guests only from what we are hearing. Uh, there are two on the Seven Seas um, Lagoon side, so you're going to get beautiful Seven Seas Lagoon. They are elevated, so shouldn't have um, obstruction much there, so you'll get beautiful views, of course, of the Contemporary right across the way. Seven Seas Lagoon and those fireworks, what everybody's excited about to watch from those um, tower gardens, which be the fireworks. On the other side, there's um, actually two other sides, two on the other side and they face the golf course over there by shades of green and they will have beautiful sunset views so both areas are absolutely lovely absolutely gorgeous i you've seen the concept art i'm gonna put the concept art up here you guys can take a look at that but um this these features that they're bringing to this tower i'm telling you i think it might be uh might be the best dbc property on property this I'm sorry, Riviera, I love you, but the um, Island Tower, like I said, I can't remember it half the time, but the Island Tower may take the throne. The big thing about this tower, they will have their own restaurant, the Waialulu Bar and Restaurant. I'm going to have to read this. Uh, the Waialulu Bar and Grill. They will serve um, grab-and-go breakfasts, and then they will serve a lunch and, lunches and dinner. So that is a new reservation that we'll probably have to make so we can try the Wild Lulu uh, um, Bar and Grill, which sounds fantastic. Featuring an Infinity Edge, and we talk about this. They really didn't mention it in their um, press release and the concept pictures, but if you look at the Wild Lulu Bar and Grill and the people that are sitting on the edge of the area. That's the octagon round shape of that place. That's where this will be. If you really look at the picture, it looks like there's water that actually, and it's not part of the lake or anything, but it looks like there's a water feature that goes up to the back of the seating and it has an infinity edge. In this picture, tell me if, I, if I'm not right about this, but it just, to me, with the rippling and you see the infinity edge and the People sitting at the rounded booths right there. I think this will have a water feature at the back of the seating, which, like I said, it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful resort, and I know a lot of people, and we said earlier, we're not a fan of this, but I think it's going to be a great resort. And the last thing, they announced the splash pad. It's going to be a Moana splash pad area. I had went over to do news from the queues live because this is our last one of the month. You know, we always do live. I actually went over, filmed the whole news from the queues live. My camera, my phone, because you guys know I use my phone. Um, it, the, the light was so bright that day. It was just blown. It was just, you can't get anything dark. You can't get light. It was just, the light was blowing everything out. So. I had to come home to record this, but the splash pad for the kids is Moana themed. And I tell you, I just wanna make sure, um, it will fe feature her boat and it'll feature, it says characters. Now they showed a concept art of Moana, 
but it also says character. So this splash pad is gonna be pretty in, um, amazing. And from what we're hearing and maybe even seeing, it might already be on premises. So that announcement about this um, island tower, I think is gonna be a, it's gonna be a game changer over there at the Polynesian. It's, I still say it's gonna be the best um, BBC property. You guys let me know because if they have a restaurant and a quick serve over there, does that mean they'll have refillable stations over there for their um, DVC guests? So you don't have to walk all the way to the main building? If you DVC members know, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Appreciate it. And while we're on the subject of this DVC tower, I still believe, and I'll show you the picture here, that there are three buildings surrounding that pool. I believe eventually, not right now, I'm just guessing, this is speculation. We already know that there's already three other DVC buildings in the bungalows out in the water. I believe those three um, buildings will become DVC in the future. I mean, you've got a pool right there that those three buildings can see. But if it's like over at Bay Lake Tower, you can't swim in that pool unless you are staying at Bay Lake Tower. So you can't swim in that, from what I would guess, if you're staying at the Island Tower, those are the guests that can swim in that new pool. I eventually think uh, these three buildings right here that I'm gonna show you the picture of, I think those will eventually become DVC. If you guys think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below because I honestly don't see how you could look at a pool and know that you can't swim in that pool. So we shall see, that is to come. We will find out December 17th when it opens. We'll get all that information. Okay, let's just talk about some other stuff. Um, this milkshake. Get the milkshake. It's really good. Uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Let's go ahead with that. Um, in September, there are only four dates left that have not sold out. Now, sometimes you can go to the guest services at the front. There may be tickets left. But the night I worked and the um, there were no tickets left. It was sold out. When it says sold out, it is usually 100% sold out. But sometimes they will have tickets. You can always check there. But make sure you get there early if you're coming in. Remember, you can get into the party at 4. Um, it officially starts at 7. So don't come in saying, where's all the Halloween stuff? And where's the smoke? And where's this? It doesn't start till 7. So um, you can check up there. But if it is sold out, it's sold out. And as of right now... The 17th, the 22nd, 24th, and 20th are the only dates available in September. As of right now, from the My Disney Experience app, I just checked. So um, they are selling out quickly. So there's only four dates left in September that have not sold out. In October, we have more sellout dates. We have the 11th, the 10th, the 8th, the 29th, and the 31st. So that's the 8th, the 10th, 11th, 29th, and 31st are already sold out in October. So if you're coming to Not So Scary Halloween Party, please make sure you get your tickets in advance. That's that's the wisest move. Um, on the Very Merry Christmas Party and Jollywood Nights, no sellouts yet. None at all. On the Halloween Horror Nights tickets, I was um, researching these. Uh, no sellouts, but I did notice that some of the packages have come back, like the um, front of the line fear pass and stuff like that. So go on the website if you were looking for one of those and some of those packages have pop repopulated back up. So you might be able to get you one of those, but as of right now, no Halloween Horror Nights have sold out. The other big announcement was the after hours party on select nights of 2025. They are up on the My Disney Experience is where I seen them. Uh, tickets go on sale September 4th for resort guests and other selected resorts. And then general public on September 10th can then buy them tickets. But um, for studios, the tickets will be available from January 22nd through September 3rd. <laughs> so that's pretty good times there. Magic Kingdom will be January 6th through May 19th well, is the window that they will have available starting September 4th. And then Epcot, um, February 27th through September 25th. Now remember, this party is an after hours party. Officially really doesn't begin until 10 p.m. But 
you with your ticket you can get into the park at seven so that's a good thing the other good thing about these tickets is you do not have to make a resort i mean a reservation to the park your ticket is your reservation to the park so you can get in the park at seven the parties usually um, officially start at 10 so you have a great time there um, i know a lot of people love the magic kingdom one because you get a mashup of the fireworks but we've never done one but um, we'd love to do one maybe 2025 might be our year that we do an after hours party for Magic Kingdom. Everybody says the rides are great to get on, easy, quick. Uh, the snacks that they offer are fantastic, which are included with the price from what I'm understanding. And then the fireworks. Um, Epcot has theirs, Hollywood Studios has theirs. There are none that I have seen for Animal Kingdom. And I don't think they do after hours cause all the animals and stuff like that. So maybe they do, I don't know. If you don't, leave it down in the comments down below. What else do we got? Um, that's about it. Um, we will be at Food and Wine starting, like I said, 29th. It's going to be interesting and fascinating to see how this Food and Wine is. I am still a proponent of the old Food and Wine, which we will talk about when we go to Food and Wine tomorrow on our next video. So just stay tuned for that. But can't wait to go to Food and Wine. I know a lot of you travelers are going to be there, so I hope to see you there. If you see us, remember, say hi. We love to put you on camera. We love to talk to our fellow travelers. That's just what we do. We do. Hey, everybody that stopped at the Contemporary, thank you once again for stopping and saying hello. Ha saying hello. Hello. <laughs> saying hello on your end, sharing some of your vacation time with, to stop and say that. So I really do appreciate that. And I know I ramble on and I just go on and on, but you know, we just love doing that. Sorry there wasn't a video this past Sunday. I uh, just took the weekend off a little bit. Um, I knew you guys had a lot of the Virgin Voyages cruises. There was a, a video every day. There was a lot of videos. So I want to get let everybody get caught up on that. So uh, we did our first um, magical dining at Halio. That video is up. And some fellow um, traveling family members joined us for that. So we had a great time. We've got a couple more locations we're going to be hitting. And we're still talking about the Supper Club. Uh, might be the last Tuesday in September. So just stay tuned for that. I got to look at the schedule because we have a lot of travelers coming in September. I didn't realize how many travelers we got. And they all say, hey, I'm going to be here this, this. And I put it all on the calendar so I know I do get confused sometimes. And I do forget. So if I've ever forgotten an email or didn't hit a message, make sure just to message and email, email me again. So make sure I respond to you because sometimes I get so many of them. It's it's nice to get so many of them, but sometimes I do let some slip through the cracks. So just please, please, please just um, re reach out and we'll make sure if we can get together with you. We'd love to get together. You guys know that. So um, other than that, it's just going to be a great week. Uh, got news from the queues today, which is Wednesday. Then Thursday, there might be a video tomorrow. I'm not sure. It depends on what happens beforehand or afterhand I'm not really sure um i'm gonna try to get up the food and wine by friday so you guys can see that our little take on food and wine well you know us we like to be different even though it's the first day hmm. not too sure about that might even try to put a video up saturday and sunday who knows this week remember that's why you hit that notification bell because i'm not on a schedule anymore and i'm working a lot more by the way friday night the 30th I'll be at the Magic Kingdom handing out wristbands. Hope to see you there. I uh, love that shit. Get to wear the little uh, not-so-scary Halloween party outfit. So I hope to see you guys there. And I think that's about all the news from the queues that we have today. So travelers, like we always say, until next time. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Head over to Facebook and join our Facebook family group. It's really fun. Everybody's sharing their um, stories, all that good stuff and where they're going. And it just doesn't have to be Disney. It can be anywhere. So share what you want to over there. And we would love to have you guys over there. But until next time, like we always say, Travel and Adventure is out there.